so hope you have enjoyed the sped up footage of me filling out my 2024 reading journal and now i'm just going to be doing a flip through of the spreads i've made and just explaining about them basically so this is my title page my introduction um i wanted to make it some of achilles themed um so i traced out like the hands touching thing um from this quote uh, wallpaper that i have um of my favorite quote from the book he is half of my soul as the poets say and i i i'm not i'm not artistic at all but i'm really actually happy about how this turned out i know it is tracing but i did have to like embellish it but anywho um honestly i don't really like this that much but we move um so yeah so i basically just wrote 2024 in like roman numerals like 2000s 20 and 4 um and then reading journal i was gonna have it in this like greek script um which is what i wrote out before but it just i couldn't put it back on so i just left it um and then obviously i have the hands touching and then the lovely quote um i don't know if this is my favorite book of the year i don't think it i think it has just been picked to the post but the other book doesn't really have quotes that are like really beautiful um so this is just the theme i went for for the start of 2024 and then the next page is my book shelfie um i haven't um like drew the books yet because i probably aren't gonna i'm probably not gonna be adding to this um like 
day by day or whatever i'll probably wait until like the first quarter maybe and then draw them out and then color them in with the star ratings um but i thought i'd do like a bigger shelf this time and um yeah just because before when i've done them i've always had to like this was last year's and um then i had to like continue it here so continue on page 62 so let me go to 62 um and see i've had to like add ones and i'm gonna have to draw more here as well so i thought with like this i can maybe make them like maybe still two each or something but hopefully i will have space for them all to go on this one bookshelf this year and yeah that's just basically how it goes um like the previous one if i can just really show you um i'm just gonna like write the title and then color it in with what star rating i have given it then the next page is my reading goals page um i've split it into quarters and then each quarter is obviously three months um so we've got january february march april may june july august september october november december and with these like pens uh, these like highlighter pens i've got which i've done here i'm going to color in if i like that book if i read it in that month if that makes any sense um so like june i'll probably be maybe around like here or something with june um and then all the all the number books that i read in june will be colored in in that month's highlighter um and then i'm i do sort of have yearly goals which is most of some of like these ones but i thought i would split it until quarterly and then maybe change them or just see how i'm feeling throughout the year and if i want to change the direction of my reading at that time but anyway for quarter one we've got 90 percent physical books read from my pre-2024 tbr this is a go i have for the whole year but it's something i want to definitely address in the first quarter um, and then i said read 30 books so that means i'll be on track plus five this is because in quarter four and um so like october november december i'm going to be doing like university again so i'm not going to have as much time to be reading so i want to try and get a lot of some more of my goals and challenges completed before like these later months so i'm not rushing or whatever or putting added stress on myself so hopefully i can get that and be on track plus a bit more um then it is dnf more if needed which is just something i want to do throughout the whole year um i say max 15 new book new books bought this is for the whole quarter so it can like so it's basically like five each month basically um and we i shall see how i go along with that and also i've got read six out of my 24 of 2024 so that will be on track for that challenge basically then here i've got my goodreads goal of 100 and like i said i'm just going to color in when i read that book um 100 is what i've set it at i probably will go over but i don't know 100 percent. and for me i think this is an achievable goal and um i am content with that number now here i've got my year at a glance um so i've got all the months and then each quarter i will do their own um like calculations as well um so you basically it's got the months at the top quarter one two three four and then the total uh we've got the books i read like number the number of pages number of hours of audiobooks i read um the average star rating the average core pile rating how many five stars how many dnfs how many books i hoard and how many books i unhoard in that month and then the quarters as well so that's just how it looks um yep yeah. it's more than what i've done before um if i can try and show you from like last year's ones um here's what i had it in i've made it like a, a bigger spread now um so yeah i will have more space to write it in and yeah that's basically that 
Um, then here is my 24 in 2024. These are my 24 most anticipated reads of the year. Um, I'm just going to print out the pictures and stick the covers in. And then below them, I will write um, when I, like what star rating I gave it. And possibly on the side when I read it, like what the month or whatever it was, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I haven't stuck them in yet because I haven't printed them out yet. I do know what they are. That's why they've all been written down. I've actually had a video made on it which you can check up there if you so desire but yeah that's that uh then i have my read the rainbow challenge um so we've got the all these different colors which is the book cover will be that color and if i read it i will print out the picture and put the little cover in there um this for this year's i haven't done it yet but i have written the ones in because I'm just still waiting to print them out and then here I've got the buzzword form which is hosted uh, by Books and Lala which I try and do every year um, you just f find a book and read it to fulfill the specific prompt for that month and um, yeah so that's quite self-explanatory <laughs> um now i've got my genre tracker um i've expanded it this time so i've got sort of like the typical genres here and then here i've also got like what type of audience it is uh so i've got contemporary historical literary classic romance fantasy magical realism dystopia sci-fi thriller crime horror mystery non-fiction graphic novel short story manga comic poetry novel translated essay play LGBTQ, BIPOC, disability rep, any age, new adult slash new adult plus, adult, young adult slash young adult plus, and children and middle grade. Um, and then I've got read more dot dot dot. So in each month, I hope to read at least one of each of these five types of books uh, a translated work a new a book from a new country a 350 page plus book a non-fiction book and a classic and then if i do read it i will just highlight if i if it if it's been fulfilled um like i've done last year here um, and then here is my author A to Z challenge show before I've done the book but this time I'm doing the author so if their first or last name starts with any letter of the alphabet I will put that down and then also write down what the book was that I read from them. Um, here is my book bingo so I've got all these different like prompts um, and if I fulfill them I'm going to write down um, like what date i fulfilled it and then cross it off um but i've got a 600 page plus novel this time last time i just did a book um a two poetry collections a 2024 release a read an arc read a memoir a reread finish a series um three debut novels or books um an unhaul over haul in one month so that means in one month i would have unhauled more books than i actually hauled um read two short story collections i read 12 out of 24 of my 20 24 uh, cry reading a book finish a book in one day and an epistolatory novel because i don't think i've actually read any like proper ones yet so that's on there um now i've got my book graveyard um and here i will put a picture of all the books i dnf in 2024 and then i'll just highlight around um, if I had, if it was a book that I had no interest in completing, uh, it's one I will try again. Uh, if everything sucks, and then uh, if it is likely to be a three star read, which obviously this can be for more, but it's just the one that's most applicable. And then underneath, I'll just write at what percentage I DNF'd it. Um, and yeah, I think that looks quite cute. Little graveyards. <laughs> Uh, now I have got my social tracker. So um, last year I tried, I did this sort of, but um, it was very small. It was just along here and it was just for YouTube or like booktube. Um, but this time I want to do track how many uh, YouTube subs I get gain, how many YouTube videos I post, how many, how many TikTok followers I gain, how many videos I post. And then I've got it obviously for January, February, March, April, May, June, and then a mid-year like checkout, July, August, September, October, November, December, and then at the end and see how I've done. Um, now I've got my reading log which I've expanded and I've chosen to do it landscape instead of portrait just to give me more space because I was definitely 
find a difficulty with space um but we've just got the title author and um, how many pages or hours it was the star my star rating and then the core pile rating of the book and then i'll just obviously fill that in like i've done um like here for example but here is smaller so i've got more space now um i just left multiple pages to hopefully fill um now i've got my book bracket uh, which i need to film this year's soon but basically i just have a short list of my two best books from each month and then i randomly choose them to go to the quarter final stage which is all of these and then the semi-final semi-finals which are these two against against and then the final and then to see which is the best one and then i've got my book awards here and finally my january page uh, I cut off um, recording because I have no space, but I made space. And now uh, this is just my January spread. So I did a little calendar and then I'll, when I write which books I wrote, read, and then I'll just like put it on like what days and then also a space for the best and worst of the year. On the next page, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I might start doing like little reviews in the journal, but we shall see. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.